this is Robert with Go Engineer Technical Support Department, and today we're doing another What's New in SolidWorks 2014. Today we're going to talk about equations. So here we go, we've got SolidWorks 2014 window, new look, got some new colors in the corner here. Um, let's just get right into it. We're going to start a new part, and I'm going to start a sketch here on the front plane. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. So starting in 2014, you can actually configure your equations. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to add a couple of dimensions to this part here. That's fine. And that's fine. I'm going to make this one one inch. And I'm going to add an equation here. So I'm going to edit this dimension. I'm going to remove what we got and add an equal sign. I'm going to click on this dimension and that adds the syntax for that times two. So now this equation states that this dimension will be twice that dimension. Okay. Now you always could configure dimension lengths, so we could configure this dimension, maybe use an Excel sheet to drive our equations, but now we can do it just right in SolidWorks. So um, just to show you that the equation is there, I hit click on Tools and then Equations, and it shows the equation we just entered. You could actually enter it here if you wanted, rather than entering it on the fly, but we want to do this fast. So there it is. Let's add a configuration. I'm actually going to edit, I'm going to turn uh, turn this right here. I right clicked on the annotations folder and then selected show feature dimensions. And that actually makes all your dimensions show up. And that's true if you had a uh, solid in here as well. Uh, I'm going to go to the configuration tree, right click and add configuration. And I'm going to call this one triple. And in this configuration, we're going to triple this length here. Now what you do, <coughs> is we'll go back to the, the, the equations manager here, tools and then equations. And now that we have multiple configurations, we can make a choice. This pull down was here before. In 2013, you could, in fact, I'll show you, I'm gonna bring up SOLIDWORKS 2013 here. So you'll notice I changed because we've got the red in the window here. So this is SOLIDWORKS 2013 right now. Tools, equations. So I already have multiple configurations. It's already in there. But you'll notice that the only thing you can do here, as far as configuration goes, is you can right click and then select suppress, and you can suppress this equation for this configuration. Right, but now we have new features, so I'm going to get rid of 2013, okay, back to 2014, right, we got the black in the corner. Now, when you click in this dimension here, when you go to edit the equation, you've got this, this, this new icon, this pull down, and you can change it and say, I want to make this change in this configuration. It's very similar to the interface when you were configuring dimensions in, uh, before. So now I'm going to change it to times three for the triple. And I'm going to change back to the default equation. You're going to see this three is going to change. So switch to default. It wants me to save. So I'm going to say okay. So just saved my part again. And there you go. Now it says two. Switch back to the triple. Now it says three. This is huge. You can actually change your equations in your different configurations. You can completely rewrite them, which is just amazing. So I click OK. You'll see my feature dimensions. We'll go to the configuration manager and I'll just double click and switch between the two configurations and you can see the dimension changing. This has been Robert Murdoch in the Technical Support Department of Go Engineer with more What's New 2014. Have a great day.